all right guys what's up so this is going to be a tutorial on how to do lighthouse this is going to be a very beginner tutorial because i know a lot of beginners are going to be watching this video so uh here's a quick example Okay, so for this tutorial, I brought this kendama. It's a gloss Shenzhou. The reason I brought this kendama is because it's very slippery for lighthouses. Like a beginner would have a little bit of trouble getting it on uh, the lighthouse and balancing it. But that's exactly why I brought it for this tutorial. So I could teach you how to do it like with precise movements so it doesn't fall off. What you want to do for this trick is you want to grab the tama and get the ken so it's hanging perfectly the string hole should be facing you and you want to bend your knees and bring it straight up in the air you want it to come up as straight as possible because if it comes up crooked like you move it to this side you're not going to be able to catch it if you move it to this side you're not going to be able to catch it you need to bend your knees so it comes straight up in the air okay so once uh you get that motion down you're going to bring it up and then you're going to put the tama directly underneath and you're gonna bend your knees to cushion it. The knees in Kendama always help to cushion tricks because if you just like, you don't use your knees at all, it's just gonna like go on there and it's gonna fall off. But if you put the tom underneath and like bend your knees, it's gonna help cushion it a lot more. Okay? So let me show you a slow-mo example of me like fighting a lighthouse. And what I mean by fighting a lighthouse is like, like I'm chasing it all over the place. Just so you can see like where to move the tama uh, in accordance to like where the Ken is. So here's a quick slow-mo. So that was a slow-mo example of like how to balance your kendama. If it's going like, for example, if your ken is leaning towards you, you like go back and you move the tama towards you so you can get it back and steady. And don't try to not overdo it because it'll go this way and you'll have to chase it back. So the key is to like find the perfect balance of going back and forth until it's back and steady in your hand. Once you have it balanced, all kendama tricks end with some sort of spike. So the easiest spike you can do from here is just an airplane. So you bend your knees and like you move the tama away from you so that the ken turns and you catch the airplane. So just you bend your knees and you move the tama away from you a tiny bit like this so that the spike comes and you just bend your knees and catch the, the airplane. So that's all there is to it mostly this trick is practice you have to put some work and effort into it so you can get it sit down think about it get a session for an hour just try it just keep on trying it over and over and over again and you'll get it eventually so just practice up and you'll get it